Hi there, I'm uh, David from the Orpington Congregation. Uh, the scriptures that I've been given to do for the devotional are around uh, Genesis 42 to 45. That's four chapters, so it's quite a lot to cover. It's quite an amazing uh, set of circumstances. And uh, to be honest, I've struggled as I've read it because it seems to indicate that um, Joseph was still a bit of a schemer um, because the story tells about how eventually the famine comes to uh, Egypt and so the brothers <coughs> want to come and buy grain because they're dying and they've got no food. So they come to uh, Egypt to buy the grain and remarkably they get to actually meet Joseph when itself seems quite an incredible thing really that they get to meet the governor of the land himself to buy the grain. And then <clears throat> this series of events happen, triggered almost entirely by Joseph, um, where he essentially tells them to uh, go back. He tells them he, he lies, he deceives them, um, all in a good cause, but nevertheless, he causes them all sorts of distress. Um, what's interesting is that in the midst of all of this, the honesty is coming from the brothers and actually not Joseph, which I find interesting. And there's a whole kind of set of things going on around that. But the thing that really struck me as I read this was that this has been a 20 year span from the dreams. And we've obviously heard the other devotionals and they land with this uh, moment of reconciliation. But the reconciliation isn't easy. And... Um, Interestingly, the brothers, when things don't work out for them, immediately the first thing they say is, this is because of what we did to our brother, Joseph, all those years ago, 20 years. It makes me wonder whether we're carrying stuff from a long time ago still. And I think if we are, I think that God, even if we've been the ones to kill the dreams, the very dreams that God has planned, to bring us into our future, which is essentially what happened. These brothers had killed their brother. These brothers had killed Joseph. Joseph was the one with the dreams. Joseph was the one that thought they'd killed him. Joseph was the one that was going to be the answer to their prayers and they'd killed him. Maybe sometimes we've gone, we've done things that are just a bit silly. And we killed the answer that we killed the things that are going to be the answer to our prayers. Maybe relationships we've cut off, maybe other things. I don't know. All of us have got different stories. But the beauty of this story is that even when we've done that, even when it seems like we've maybe even killed off the dreams, even when we ourselves have been the murderers of the dreams, if you like, the things that could be the solution for our future, God is still big enough. And he can use it all. And the thing that came through for me is, it's time to dream again. Shortly after this story happens and there's the conclusion with the father arriving, he has a dream. And I think that the person doing the next devotional will talk about that. But I just feel like it's time to dream again. Even if you've had dreams in the past and you feel like you've killed them, maybe it's time to pick them up. Maybe it's time to just start dreaming again. And um, let this story be an encouragement that no matter what, no matter what happens, that God can cause these dreams to come to fruition. And because um, he's that big and he works ahead of us so he can turn everything that was meant for bad to good. And in this story, we see that happening. It's a very complicated story. It's a complex story. It's, it's not a simple thing. And in fact, even after reading, there are so many things. I want to go, why did you do that, Joseph? Why did you do that? Why did the brothers react that way? What was going on with them? What was happening that, that it was just, it's so complex. And in a way, those complexities aren't solved. But the reality is they're taken into a new land. They, they're taken into a place flowing with land and milk and honey. They've taken into this place where they're given these carts, they're given money, they're given food, they're given a place by Pharaoh himself. And totally undeserved, 
but totally amazing answer to every every desire they would have had and beyond way beyond what they could have had and so i just want to say i think maybe it's time to dream again and the two worship songs i've chosen are talking about that so um yeah that's 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 really what i got from from that story